It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. Hey guys, it's Kai Shack, and I have challenged myself to build some animals out of Lego. I will start with my favourite animals, and then I will move on to suggested ones by the audience. So here we go. Okay guys, so the next animal which I will be doing is the Okapi, which is a rather unusual animal, but it's still quite usual. And the part which I thought I might get wrong in this animal is the ears and the bum. So here is my final result. So here it is, the Okapi. This is the third animal in the series, of course. And here's the face with the usual ear. Yeah, these are. This is how I did the ears, and I think that the ears were quite well, good. Here is the usual eye I do, and the cool thing about him is he can nod his head just like the sloth, but not in a different way. The sloth uses joints, and this uses a special piece which can lift up and down like this. You can just see on the camera. Okay, so also it has legs like this. I don't know what this piece is called, just like the sloth's arms. And you can kick forward like that. Forward? Yeah, so you can get it in some very cool positions like that. Unlike the anteater, you can move its back legs as well. This is how I did the hooves. Like a horse. Yeah, so I'll, as I was saying about the anteater, you couldn't move my anteater's back legs, you could only use move its front legs. But this one, you can move the back legs back and forth. Like that. So that will help you get it into some cool poses. Also, there's the neck. It's all brown like the Okapi, but then like the front of the legs is black. I tried to like round it a bit. About saying like too much. Yeah, so I think that this is quite a cool looking model I made. Yeah, the bum failed that I was talking about. Yeah, so here's a look all around him. And now time to inf information on information! Okay, so I don't really know that much about the Okapi, but I'm just going to tell you everything I know. So, what I do know is that they live in Africa, and they are close relatives of giraffes, and I think donkeys as well. Um, there are things called cryptids, which are like animals, which, like Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster, some people think they're real, but some people don't. And the Okapi actually started out as that until the year 1901, when they were confirmed to be real animals. I think they look very interesting, because they have like zebra legs, but I don't think they're related to zebras at all. Yeah, and there's this zoo in Belgium called the Antwerp Zoo, which has bred 47 okapis in 1954, and it is the first zoo to breed this rare fullest relative of the giraffe. I just read that from a book right now. Quite interesting, to be honest. Okay, so now I've got to tell you what I think about my Okapi. So, this Lego Okapi, I think it looks alright at the front compared to the real Okapi, but the bum doesn't look realistic because it's not stripy enough, but it wasn't my fault, I just didn't have enough Lego bricks for that. Alright, and now I searched on Google Lego Okapi to see if anyone has made a better Lego Okapi than me. And it turns out that I don't know if this is better than mine or not. The plus side, it's bigger, but the minus side is it's not fully an Okapi. It's like half Okapi, half piano or keyboard, which is very creative and a very strange idea. So, I don't know. You can see on the screen right now, it's like an Okapi... An Ocapiano. Wow. It's a very good play on words. An Ocapiano that someone has made. Well, I think this is better than mine, to be honest. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of a Lego Ocapi. Next up is the Tasmanian Devil. So, in the comment section below, 
comment what animal you would like to see me make next, or give me feedback on the Okapi. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for Lego and Minecraft videos, and I'll see you guys later.